Huawei's huge developer conference 2019 kicked off this morning and one of the highlights so far is definitely the official launch of the new Emotion UI 10 launcher or Amui 10 for short. This launcher is based on Google's Android Q OS and it will make its proper debut on the new Huawei Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro but also possibly roll them out to some existing Huawei phones like the P30 series ahead of that time. We've only seen a glimpse of some of these sexy new features at HTC 2019 but here is a roundup of all the best bits and some sneaky bits that they kind of teased in a trailer but didn't expressly talk about as well. So first up, Huawei has really bigged up Emotion UI 10 already by saying it's not just a simple upgrade over Emotion UI 9.0, apparently this will be viewed as a milestone in the launcher's life. Quite a few new features were discussed and some were shown off in this trailer, including what appears to be some slick new clock faces for your always on display. Here's hoping for improved customization across the board. It wasn't exactly a massive shock when they let this AI flashed up, that's something that Huawei gets all hot and bothered about, and also teased were a variety of new nature-based walls papers potentially, as well as a gorgeous fresh redesign for key first party apps. They look very clean and rather stunning. Some redesigned icons also sprang up all too briefly, including some funky new animation work as well, so buttons actually look like they've been depressed into the device when they are tapped. Then Dr. Wang returned to the stage to give us some proper details on some of the new Emotion UI 10 features. So apparently Huawei has concentrated quite heavily on the new Amui 10 dark mode to make sure that it is a comfortable viewing experience. Of course Android Q will come packing its own dark mode but Huawei has designed its own version seemingly from the ground up aiming for strong readability even when using your phone for a long time. That means finding the perfect contrast levels and colours for text, buttons and everything else on the UI. There was a lot of talk about WCAG 2.0, a standard for readability on the web. I definitely won't run through all of the techie details here because they went on for quite some time, but basically Huawei has put a lot of thought and effort into the design here. A lot of effort. Seriously, it's some complicated sh people. And if I understand correctly, it sounds like the dark mode could potentially be implemented in third-party apps as well, which could be very interesting indeed. Huawei is also clearly hoping to offer a seamless experience between all of your techie devices with a MIUI 10. Basically, better communication between your phone, smart TV, smartwatch and other bits as well. During the conference, Huawei showed off a demo of a live stream of a camera feed from a DJI drone being streamed to a Huawei smartphone during a video call and it all seemed to work seamlessly. Unsurprisingly, the touchy topic of security was also raised again and again. Huawei has rather wisely decided to concentrate on this side of things for Emotion UI 10, especially with this new distributed format that it's bigging up. Inter-device encryption systems have been improved apparently so they're much harder to crack, while our biometric information will apparently be split and stored securely in different locations to keep pesky criminal types from compromising it. And Huawei also showed off its new Me Time video call functionality as well, so apparently you can choose exactly which smart device to use during a call. For instance, you can use some connected speakers to beam the audio out or just stick with your phone speakers and you can also switch screens mid-call as well. So you can have your video stream into your TV instead of the phone at any time. Definitely handy if other family members want to join in halfway through. And building on some of the features introduced in a MIUI 9, you can also expect more seamless communication between your phone and your laptop. You'll be able to use your Huawei handsets apps on the laptop itself and simply drag and drop files between the two as well, literally grabbing bits from the virtual phone screen on your laptop display and then dragging them into folders. Proper tech details were unfortunately not forthcoming, but I'm guessing this feature will only work with Huawei's Madebooks. And those devs have also been beavering away working on strong interplay between your Huawei smartphone and your car's HUD for the high car feature, so you can control your mobile apps directly from that dashboard touchscreen. Apparently 120 plus models of car will be supported to begin with, but again no specific details were revealed. And finally, while we also discussed the performance update in Amui 10 as well, apparently it won't just be super nippy, it'll be consistently smooth as well. So you can expect quick reactions to your taps compared with the likes of the iPhone XS, for instance. But what about the most important part? When will we actually get a chance to get our hands on a Motion UI 10? Well, Huawei reckons it'll start rolling out to the P30 series handsets from September the 8th, although that's unlikely to be a global rollout, unfortunately more likely localized to China. But we will see, hopefully we'll get it October, November time at the latest. And you can also expect it to roll out to the Mate 20 devices from last year and some other older Huawei handsets as well. And of course, it should come pre-packaged on the fresh new Huawei Mate 30 series handsets, which are set to launch before the end of 2019. So far, only a glimpse of some of the cool new features that you can expect from a MIUI 10, but hopefully just about enough to get the old geek juices flowing. So what other new features are you hoping to see in Huawei's latest launcher and what updates are you already praying for as well? Definitely let us know in the comments down below and please do poke subscribe and ding that notification bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you!